Hi everyone. Today we're going to work on an ideal gas qualitative chemistry question. First, I'm going to let you try it on your own. So please pause the video, read through it yourself, and take an attempt at the quiz question provided to you in this video. Did you get it? If you did, that's great. And if not, that's okay, because we're going to work on it step by step together. Your instructor blows up a balloon so that it is filled with 0.55 moles of helium at 21.5 degrees Celsius and 1.00 atmospheres of pressure. The instructor adds an additional 0.50 moles of helium. If the pressure remains the same, do you expect the volume to increase or decrease? Be sure that your answer makes chemical sense based on your understanding of gas theory. You should be able to explain your reasoning in clear and complete statements. If you weren't able to start the question on your own, I'll provide you with a strategy map. First, let's identify all of the variables, which are changing and which are constant. Then we'll recall the relationship between the changing variables to let us predict if our volume is going to increase or decrease after more moles of helium were added to the balloon. Here I've summarized all the information that the question gave us. Our initial amount of moles of helium is N1. Our pressure P1 and our temperature T1. Can you figure out which variables are changing and which are constant? Give it a try. Did you get it? Our N amount of moles is going to be changing because we've added more to the balloon. Our pressure remains the same as stated in the question and the temperature is also assumed to stay the same. There's two strategies that can help us come to the answer to this problem. Let's work through the qualitative approach first. Here, we're gonna utilize our understanding of proportionality between our variables of amount of moles N and volume V. Let's start by thinking about our ideal gas constant R. 0 0.08206 atmospheres liters per mole Kelvin. The units translate directly to help us derive the ideal gas equation. R equals PV over NT. Next, let's rearrange for volume because volume is what we're interested in. V equals NRT over P. Next, we can rewrite this equation as a proportionality. I've highlighted all of our constant variables and we can combine them all together and simplify them all to be represented by small k. Based on this proportionality, do you expect that the volume is going to increase or decrease when our amount has increased? Did you get it? Our amount is increasing. And because volume is directly proportional to amount, we know that volume is also going to increase. A quantitative approach is going to use the data provided in the question and a simple calculation to come to the same conclusion. This can be very helpful for math-minded students. Also, a great way to verify your prediction is correct. Again, we'll start with our ideal gas constant R and our ideal gas equation. We know that our R is constant. So even if conditions change, P times V over N times T 
must always equal r. So we can set up this changing conditions equation. Now let's cancel out our constant variables, pressure and temperature. This is going to simplify the equation for us to V1 over N1 equals V2 over N2. We need to rearrange this equation for V2, the volume after an additional amount of helium moles was added. Did you get it? V2 equals V1 times N2 over N1. Now we can plug in the information that we're given. We know our final and initial amount of moles of helium. Our N2 is 1.05 moles and our N1 is 0.55 moles. Even though we aren't provided with the initial volume, we can still calculate that our volume, V2, is going to be 1.91 times greater than V1, leading us to our same conclusion that volume is expected to increase. Can you explain this reasoning in clear and complete statements? Gas molecules collide with container walls exerting an internal pressure. When more molecules are added to a container, the frequency of collisions increase. If the volume of the container were fixed, the pressure would increase. But we know that the walls of a balloon are flexible. Because our balloon can expand and the pressure must remain constant, when more molecules are added, the volume will increase. I hope that this video helped you understand the process in coming to the answer to this question.